Hello, hermanos y hermanas. So today I wanted to reflect on the opportunities and the mundane. Um, what got my brain thinking about this and my heart thinking about this is a passage that I read from a book I'm going through. I'm re-going through it, um, you know, but as you reread things, different things jump out at you. So it is from this book, Personal Power Through Awareness, a guidebook for sensitive people. But this is the idea of why I'm thinking about these mundane things. It says, watch how you respond when you handle the mundane things that come up every day. Every time you tense up when a light bulb goes out or get upset when your car makes a strange noise, you create tension that becomes like a magnetic force and draws to you that next wrong thing. Tension or upset in your body can magnetize more problems to you. If when you first hear a strange noise in your car, you relax, put a smile on your heart and on your face, you avoid creating additional negative energy in the future. Now, I'm not saying that you will not have to handle the problems that there is, but you will have stopped yourself from creating a new problem. Learn to focus on the present time and be aware of your environment. So this just kind of goes back to if you study mindfulness, mindfulness is the opportunity of being present being in the moment and not pretending that shiznit is real but just saying okay i just did a personal audit a little momentary audit of this moment and this is going on this is going on this is going on how do i breathe and navigate it more effectively rather than adding on to that pile of shiznit Let's just work with what we have and grow from it and see what's there. So, you know, they use the car example. So it's not like that wouldn't totally suck if you had a car issue, but how are you going to navigate it is the question. Um, because, you know, peace begins with us. Peace begins with me. It is just like a mantra I hear a lot kind of floating around, but it really, it really is true. It's like Mother Teresa she said, I don't want to go to a, what did she say? Oh man, it's slipping me and I'm not going to stop this video. What did she say? Like, I don't want to go to a, she, she said something to the effect like she would prefer to go to a peace rally versus an anti-war rally. That's what it is. I want to go to a peace rally versus an anti-war rally. So anyways, I digress. But it also makes me think of Rumi. How he said, yesterday I was clever and wanted to change the world. Today I was wise and wanted to change myself. So it's always like that paradox thing. It's like, okay, we want to help other people. We want to fix everything. However, it really starts with us. And every single moment in the mundane things, there is an opportunity. And the multiplier effects of that is real. I mean you know, everybody knows like you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed and then the multiplier effect of that goes further and further and further. When that happens, what do you do with that? Do you pause and breathe and do whatever it is you need to do? Or do you just keep on digging yourself deeper in that rabbit hole? You know, we have choices. There are habits that we formed and it's just what choice are you making in the mundane? Um, and I'm saying this for myself as well. That's why I am reflecting on this aloud with you. So anyways, thank you for coming. I am sending you L-O-V-E with an exclamation mark. Ciao for now.